Welcome to a video from thegislifes.com In this video I'm going to show you what's new in the Windows 11 22H2 update So this was the first major update to Windows 11 since its launch last year and many of the features have been requested by uh, users since Windows 11 first launched So what's new in 22H2 and that by the way 22H2 is 20, year 22 2022 second half of 2022 when it's due which is probably around september october time but microsoft haven't announced anything yet but going off what we've got in the windows insider program on the beta channel these are the main changes so the first thing you notice is um up here on the start menu and in fact i can swipe up with my finger and bring up the start menu that's new is you've got folders on the uh, on the start menu now so you can group things together so i've got an entertainment folder and you can name those folders and then you can group the applications together so it could be I want to put say my office I put my office icon in a folder with that one like that and then I can name that like that so that's a good way of um, of tidying up your start menu because you've got everything you can get more icons on that one screen without having to keep scrolling up and down so I quite like that it's a good way of keeping things together the other thing you can do with the, the start menu is you can actually customize the layout if you do start settings like that you can have more pins so if I do it like that you see you've got all the pins or I can change it to more recommendations you get more recommendations and you can have the default like that. You can also use a two finger swipe to to move across like that. And speaking of swipe, you can move your finger, which I'm doing with my finger. I know you can't see that, but that's how I'm using my finger to move this in and out. And the same, you can do the same with the quick settings as well. Okay, some other stuff. So the uh, volume control, if I'm use up and down on the volume control you see you've got the the new uh, slider there instead of the old Windows 8 star one which is good and another window effect is when you get a window like this you drag it up you see a little bar appearing at the top and then you can then choose where to place this window and this is using the snap layouts so that's an improvement over the of the previous win window where you, you didn't get that same flexibility ah, if you do Windows Z you get the number on there to show you which one is which and while we're here you see in File Explorer it's been had some changes as well we've gone as quick access instead as home and then you've got these recent documents which is a mixture of OneDrive, SharePoint, local files as well so uh, you get all your cloud stored and local files in this one view here you can see your OneDrive status as well. So you can click on there and it shows you what you've used and your storage and your status, that kind of thing, which is a nice little touch. Something else you can do through File Explorer is you can something else you can do with File Explorer is connect to a media server. Connect to a media server. And it'll try and find a media server on your network so if you've got a, a NAS box with some media on it you can use this to connect up with, with that. A couple of things have changed on the taskbar you notice we've got a new battery icon down here at the bottom and we now get drag and drop of files uh, through task manager so I'll see if I can show you something if I get an image file there I can ho hover over it and it will select the application now which is something it didn't do before and then you can drag that in so uh, if you want to upload a file to YouTube or something like that or open it in Word or whatever that will do that so um, that's a good feature I'm glad to see that coming back because that's something I missed on the previous version over here on settings the quick settings has changed slightly you notice we've got the, the volume icon on there um, so it shows you what kind of device so I think if I had headphones you would see some headphones on there as well and also on Bluetooth you can click on the arrow and now see the uh, available devices which before it just took you to well, it was a top that's a toggle button that arrow wasn't there before 
and you can also go to quick I've got settings on there which you could do before but now you've got that button there to, to list devices which is pretty good task managers had a bit of a Windows 11 makeover with this build uh, with this update you see now you've got that much uh, much more Windows 11 style with the colors these colors come from your selected color uh, through your um, setup, uh, your personalization, and if you, it supports dark mode and light mode as well. You know, so we've got these tabs here where we can switch between them. The same contents in there, it's just it's had a, a new look on there. Um, there's also um, an option to put something to efficiency mode. There's also now the option to put into efficiency mode, so you can select the task, put it into efficiency, efficiency mode, and that will uh, reduce the, the amount of CPU it can operate. Now you've got to be careful, I guess, you make sure that you choose the right application that's doing. But if you want something to run in the background, uh, let's say Microsoft Teams, I'm not bothered about that one, that doesn't support efficiency mode. Not everything does. I guess those are background services. What you want is a background application. There you go, a background service or a background application, and you can put it into efficiency mode. So it uses less CPU. Alt tab's been updated as well, so I'll just a quick alt tab there. You can see that this has been this been updated. Search has been updated as well, so we've got this new search which gives you things happening today, trending topics, that kind of thing, and then your normal search as well. So it works the same way. You can search just as as, as you could before, but now you've got recent stuff and these sort of trending topics on there. Another new feature is live captions. So this is where you, Taking audio from your laptop or your PC sound card, it likes to display live live captions. So you can do so you can do Windows Control and L, and that brings up live captions. So it's ready to to play captions, and you can move this around. I'm going to play a YouTube video. This isn't using YouTube uh, subtitles. This is take taking the audio and working out itself the the subtitles. So it could be from a YouTube video. It could be from a Teams call that you're on. It can be whatever you, whatever audio source that the, the uh, laptop picks up, right, and there you go. So it's it's picking it's picking up those captions from from my video, but um, those are, are are done on the fly on the device. So you don't need cloud access that kind of thing. So that's a really nice accessibility feature. Uh, I can close that through here. So those are the main changes to Windows 11 22H2. There are a lot of other things under the hood. There's a lot of setting changes and things like that. But these are the main visual ones I wanted to uh, mention. I was sure to say as well, you're going to need a Microsoft account, an uh, internet connection when you're setting this up with a, um, even on the professional version now, unless you're setting it up for work or school. So that's a change with this release as well. As to when we get the update, well, probably September, October time, 2022, but you never know. It could be sooner or it could be later. And there could be some more changes, but I think this is pretty much it, what we're going to see with uh, Windows 11 22H2. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com.